Hello and welcome to part 7 on the ongoing series of developing a turn-based strategy game AI for my new upcoming game, Shattered Throne. Uh, hello, this is Bennett, uh, Mark's son. Well, I already can see that there's a new character again, George. Yes, George is our new character and um, he's got a, quite a bit of um, new behavior. Well, I was acting a little red. For this week... What I did is I spent some time watching the AI play around and tried to identify certain behaviors that seemed unusual or improper, and I tried to adjust um, the different weights and measurements so they were less likely to do such moves. Oh. For oh, so then they're all difficult, so then it's not like, so then it stays at the same difficulty, so it's not like easy, then like, then keeps on going harder and harder, no. so it's just like medium and then like stays like that sort of? Not really. Basically, like one thing I noticed was that the ranged units would often fire at point blank range and leave themselves exposed, so I kind of added True. in some weights so that they would prefer to shoot at their max distance. True. I also added in um, some multiple behaviors. So basically there's four states the blue AI here can be in. Which one? Well, he can either be in an expansion state, which is like early game. He'll build units that are quicker and prefer to capture new territories. That's why I saw the squire try to... Oh, I understand why. So then he can be the first one to get the tower. Right. So where you can recruit units. And so that's probably why you use the squires. Right, and he'll t and when he detects that he's losing the game, he'll tend towards more uh, defensive units and behaviors. And when he thinks he's winning, he'll be more aggressive and more willing to lose um, units to progress f even further down the road. Yeah, that's definitely hard. That definitely makes a challenge for George. I also added two new AI... Um, goals, which is the support goal, which I don't know if you'll be able to see it from here, but the support goal is to support your own units, and there's also the protect goals, which tries to get the AI to protect the settlements they already own. So you see a little bit of this going on in the lower portion of the screen. The AI is protecting that tower a lot better, whereas before I added this behavior in, the AI, the AI would capture that tower and then just wander off with its units, but now it's actively trying to defend the tower. True. And I can also see that the enemies, I mean, that the people are doing better on squires, so then they're not, like, just invincible man with, I mean, armor and stuff that cannot be broken. Right. This this was a very difficult stage to um, get working correctly. I went through this many, many times, making little small, small adjustments. Trying to find the Achilles heel? Well, just trying to get the, the AI to have some sort of advantage. For the longest time, Frank would continue to win, even with George's new behaviors. And um, it took a while to get the new behaviors just right so that um, George would have a chance. Yeah, well, it sort of is going to half and half by now, except it's starting to seem that George is going to win. Right, George kind of has the game wrapped up at this point. Yeah. Um, it's an end that matters the most. I ended up giving the... It turned out that the first player advantage was starting to make a difference now that the AIs are getting close enough. So I ended up giving um, the second player about 20% more gold to start the game with. Um, I'll have to play around with that as we continue to see if that's going to be something that's going to stay or not. Hopefully it will. Well, it, it definitely is traditionally a problem that the first player does have an advantage. True. Um, we'll have to see and judge about how much what the sweet spot is. And that looks like the game's just about over. So yep. I want to thank everyone for joining us once again. Checkmark uh, Games. Yep, www.checkmarkgames.com if you're interested in hearing more information. And uh, we'll be back next week um, with hopefully another exciting installment. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.